watching us. Everything we say, everything we do. They're watching us from everywhere, from every angle. The whole Edgar Allan Poe thematic to uh, to this. Tell tell me uh, why Edgar Allan Poe? He's the man. He's the man. I wanted to do a, a film with uh, poetry, and I needed a poet with strong poems. Now the challenge was to, to find the right guy, but also to find the right poems that could be translated into both languages. From day one, I wanted to do a film with two versions, English and French, and so I added the extra challenge of having to find someone that could have his or her poetry being translated in both languages and still would sound good. Tell me about this concept. So is it two entirely, like there's a French version and an English version? Tell me how this works. There is two different distinct versions. All my actors were bilingual, so we shot in both French and English. And the editing was done separately with two final original versions, English and French. But it's really the same film? It's the same fil film, same, uh, same frames. There's a few seconds difference between the two because French is a little, always a little longer when you, uh, when you put it together. Right. Uh, but it's exactly the same thing. For someone who hasn't seen the film, give me kind of the short version. How would you describe your movie? Well, it's a story of, a, of an ex-convict who's a big Edgar Allan uh, Poe fan. He's a reader and that's all he reads. Now he steps out of prison uh, and he gets offered a contract to find uh, three artifacts that have supposedly um, um, supernatural powers. Why me? Because you're the man. You have a gift. Being able to find anything, anywhere, is a heck of a talent. Some people think you have superpowers. And years after that contract, uh, it comes back to him. Uh, he feels like a marked man, he doesn't, know, he doesn't understand why. And all that in parallel with Poe's words that begin to haunt him after the contract, years after. Tell me about how you made the movie. You're a bit of a one-man film crew. You did almost everything. I, uh, uh, did you make the lunches too? I, well, it's funny you ask because I, I, I like to cook and I did cook for my actors as well. <laughs> um, I cook Italian, so they were happy with that. Okay. But uh, no, indeed, I did, uh, I did uh, write the film. Um, I produced it, I directed it. Um, I started uh, and the editing, which was the final uh, step, was done in both languages, which I did as well, in French and English. Feel responsible for all this? 